हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल स्टडी सुप्रीम इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब फॉर स्किल एनहेंसमेंट इन योर करियर इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट अ सेशन ऑन कुकीज एंड स्कीमा वैलिडेशन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी वी विल वर्क ऑन दैट कुकीज कुकीज इज अवेलेबल और नॉट एज यू नो वी क्रिएटेड अर ऑन एपीआई इन एम्प्लॉई API in that the cookies are not there. Okay, some of the API cookies will be not there. So in generally, uh, for developer they will provide that cookies. Uh, sorry, the API develop they pro provide that API no, cookie will be there. Okay, so as you know the five uh, things we have to validate are the status code, header, cookies, response time, and response body. So cookies is a part of that. So we we will. Check cookies are available or not. We got the one of the link. This one, okay. The Postman echo. There we are getting the cookies. Okay. So let's open the Postman. We will work on that. Okay. Uh, my Postman is opening. Okay, so now we have like four request: read, create, update, and delete. So I will add one more request like cookies get cookies request. Add request. Read cookies cookies cookies. Okay. Let it be okay. I will give this request to them. We will save this request, and this is like uh, we can say the name of the basic authentication is there. So this is a authentication API is there. You can see unauthorized is there because we are not getting the authorized is not there, but we are getting the cookies. <coughs> the unauthorized means we are ass assertion should be that for not one unauthorized. So this is a, we will uh, we will discuss about the uh, upcoming videos how many types of assertions are, uh, status are there so that is <clears throat> like four zero one is there two two hundred is there two two not one is there like all the authorizations like status code we will discuss about that okay so here cookies is there we want to assert this cookies is there or not okay that is a cookies name this cookies name you have We want to do. Even you can see this is like our cookies value, and when we can't assert that cookies value because a cookies value every time is changing. Let's see. I will show you. See, this is the value, and again you want to send the request. Okay. Send. <coughs> You can see cookies value is getting changed, so we can assert like that cookies are available or not. If cookies is fixed, we can use the cookies fix assertion also. But we will check. Okay, is unauthorized is there? And but we are getting the cookies. Okay, for authorization purpose, you can give the authorized here. Go to here, and this is a basic, basic and what. Okay, username password for this one is very easy. Like uh, postman and password, I will write here. Postman, postman and password. Postman is a user, password is a password. Okay, postman. Let's see it will work or not. We'll save the. And we can go here. Unauthorized. Send the request. Yes. Okay. This is a password. Authenticated. True. Okay. So now our main focus is the cookies. So let's go in test. <coughs> and after that, uh, we added the authorizations, auth, basic auth, and we are getting uh, like status code is two hundred. Previously, we are getting that unauthorized four zero one. Okay, let's start cookies. Okay, 
so first is pm dot test okay and you can say like uh, cookies cookies assess on cookies you can say assess on on cookies okay here only one cookie is there but some api you have a multiple cookies also that time you can assert the multiple cookies also okay that is not issue so we will see the it is present or not so we have a pm dot expect okay and uh, what is the pm dot cookies cookies what cookies has which have this is our head okay this is our cookies okay dot to be true it means it is available or not true means that only okay you can see we are running sending a request and you can see the test case is getting passed got it this is like a cookies sometime you want to see this is our way your test case is getting passed you can just change the one word one name like one character sorry so you can send again it should be the fail see it is getting failed because it's true and false okay now you can edit it this is a first way to assert the cookies okay second way like cookies we can add it here okay get cookies we function we can use the get and we can use it but that will be fail we will we'll try <coughs> cookies to equal equal condition i want to add <coughs> In equal condition, it will be fail because it's always changing. Okay, so <clears throat> I will remove this one. PM dot cookies. Sorry, PM dot aspect. Okay, inside that PM dot cookies dot get. Which cookies you want to get? Same cookies, whatever is there. okay cookies we got now what we have to do dot to to equal see this equal is there so like that we can add it okay equal to this is equal to got it so like that we can add it if your cookies is not getting change it will be now it will be fail because of cookies will always getting change okay you can see expected is this one different thing is coming your template right like that way okay sorry this is like deep okay different name of the cookies okay so this thing is there so mostly we are using that assertion of cookies this way okay or oh, this is we are not using okay fine cool so this is like test case is there cookies and we are set the cookies that is working fine so we can use it everywhere like that way only okay and this is here you can see the multiple headers are there you can i use for content on type only but you can use the content length also connection also you can use if it, that is not changing continuously okay so this is a assertion of cookies you can use anywhere uh, in any API is there we can use it second thing uh, is schema validation so we will take the schema validation of that uh, yesterday we can the post request is there or you can click on the post request okay post request already there okay so what we did yesterday like uh, when you want to do the schema validation first we have to understand about the what is the schema will okay json schema and json request my body okay so as per that only we are able to do it got it so what we have what we have to do this is our user id 
okay and in this user id we want to assert anything this is the uh, this is the user id job title this thing is there this is a uh, request body okay i will copy this request body and this is the request body when we want to send this request with that uh, particular request like post okay this will be created and we are getting same thing in the response body okay the so same thing will come the response response body json response body we can say okay json response body response body okay that is good so this is like our same like that this is response body so we want to convert in json schema value this very schema okay so schema is like that here response body we are getting we are getting the name id these things but schema is that which type of data is there like user id is there so harsha harsu is there so it is a double quotation means you can understand this is a string this is also a string so like that is there okay got it so we want to check whatever data we are getting in response it is correct as a type only we are checking the type nothing else got it only checking the type which type of data is there so i will show you we will copy this one very quick we can go to the google google is very good okay and uh, this is data is there we want to convert in scheme my value data okay json to json schema converter okay maybe this one we will try yeah okay so this is like side we use anything you any side you can use it there is no issue okay we can copy and paste okay Value data. Okay, this is our schema value data. Schema, JSON schema. Previously, is our body that this is not the JSON schema. This is JSON schema. This is JSON response. Now JSON schema is there. Got it? Okay, this is our schema. You can see all the type. Okay, ID type is string. Job title ID is string. First name is string. If it is not a string, then it is an integer or something like that will come. Okay. So we want to check that whatever response code you are getting, that is the type is correct or not. That is like schema, JSON schema. We can call. Got it. So now what we have to do in that case, we can go to the request, go to a test. Make sure. Mm, till here is okay. Okay, and we can say validate schema json schema you can say validate json schema okay fine and our data is there we have to add here whatever data is there we are getting generating data you have to add here you can type where it should be the same always okay schema equal to and whatever data is there you can paste it simple way okay whatever data we copy we can paste it make sure where schema is there okay after that this is a cool okay now we want to add that schema okay so pm dot test this is our steps to write okay we can say schema <laughs> What is valid? Okay, and we can give. Okay. Oh, sorry. So sorry, something missed. No, no. Here. Okay. Write down there. <coughs> For schema validation, uh, like. TV4 is the one of that library is there. We have to use TV4 dot validate. So PM dot expect 
okay now tv4 dot validate it is not coming okay this is the like is there and you can see also okay this is a update now what we have to do we one is we are getting schema the schema is already there for with compare with with things response body we are adding the response body is not there let me check oh see you can see the constant is there is outside the all the functions see this is the functions one function second function so we are adding the outside we can use it this functions directly okay and here we are getting the all the json format response and we will check the confirm that okay we can give like this way okay and <coughs> to be true so it will be like uh, to be true means it will be check that is correct or not okay cool so this is our schema validations okay and if you want to add like uh, here also snippet is there schema tv4 okay you can see i copy paste and it is like the schema is valid and function data is there that's it and schema items is boolean okay these three things we are added directly okay boolean false true is added or not and expect tv4 validate data data is this one okay whatever data is there true false okay but we use it directly from the response body okay like this is there got it we are added manually our test case this is our test case now we will run the test case okay cool so this is like we are getting the uh, issue because of that our api is not run this is on api right we remember this is like on api so we have to start our json server okay just terminate i will start my json server cmd okay json hyphen server emp okay now it should start we'll go to the postman again you can send the request oh see and you can check it h and everything how many sessions are there this is a schema is valid if you want to change the schema is valid or not uh, like is it checking so you can change any of that name like string to integer yeah string to int something else okay so it will be the it will throw it should throw the error okay int example i'm giving okay you can see is getting failed it's true to false fast so make sure this is a scheme well validation so someone will ask to you what is the schema validations then you can say like this validation is just we are checking that uh, what type of value is there we are getting in the response that is called okay so we have covered cookies as well schema validation this is here cookies not there cookies for this one and we assert the cookies okay thank you for watching my video don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any new videos